I'm Chris, welcome to version 1.13 of Octolab. 1.13 has a couple of very cool features, so let's not lose any time and just get started. The biggest improvement over 1.12, I think everyone can agree, is the lack of the pause button. A lot of people complained and a lot of people are also afraid of accidentally touching the huge pause button in the print state. And with 1.13 it's finally gone. It's replaced by a bottom toolbar, which allows you to not only pause, but also cancel and resume the print. The little icon is very hard to hit accidentally, but you also have to confirm your action by a swipe. You can either tap the icon and then swipe the confirmation button, or you can just drag the icon in one fluid motion. This should make cancelling pausing the print very quick, but it's also safe as you can't accidentally drag the button over the entire screen. You will also find the bottom bar in the prepare state. The start print button is still there in the lower left, so you can quickly start new prints, but there's now also a shortcut for the temperature presets. I think a lot of people didn't know that Octoapt actually can show the temperature presets from Octoprint, and I think it's quite handy when you're preparing a print. Let's move on to the second big feature of this release, time-lapse. A lot of people ask me to support time-lapse for a long time, and now it's finally in the app. Time-lapse archive shows you all time-lapses you have. You can view and share them and you can also delete old ones you no longer need. The time-lapse configuration allows you to completely configure the time-lapse in OctoApp. You can also ask OctoApp to configure the time-lapse before starting a print, so you can make changes depending on the print you're starting. The last new feature for 1.13 is the control center. A lot of people ask me to make it easier to switch between multiple OctoPrints. In the current version, you always have to go to the main menu and then switch Octoprint from there. It's a little bit tedious and it's not ideal. You can either reach the control center via the main menu with the new menu item on top, or you can simply swipe left or right anywhere in the app to open the control center wherever you are. The control center will show you all Octoprint instances that are currently connected with OctoApp. You see the current state, for example, if they're printing or if they're idle, and you also see a single frame of the webcam. I opted not to make the live feed because that can be quite heavy on network bandwidth. Tapping any of the Octoprint instances will instantly switch OctoApp to that instance. And because OctoApp is already connected from the control center and showing the current state, switching there is extremely fast. The control center has also an edit button on top where you can add new instances and also delete old instances you no longer need. And those are the main features of release 1.13. Of course, there was also a lot of work being done in the background. For example, the webcam feed is now optimized for higher resolutions. I also prepared OctoApp for the upcoming release 1.8 of OctoPrint, where I introduced a couple of pull requests to reduce the required network bandwidth. And of course, there were also a lot of bug fixes and small improvements throughout the entire app. This is version 1.13. Enjoy the app, and as always, happy printing!